Teenage boys are learning how to iron, sew and make their beds in a new school program aimed at turning them into men. Other life skills being taught in the classroom include table setting, cooking, phone etiquette and grooming. It sounds like a good idea, so Danny Miller, Troy Jones and, welcome Tracy Spicer. What do you think, Danny, uh, let's go to you, you're doubling down today, you've got double down to this. What do you think of this? That sounds fantastic. I'd like to marry one of these boys when they're older because my partner doesn't know how to do any of those things. They sound golden. Look, I think they're great skills for anyone regardless of gender. I don't have all of those skills, I, I must admit. I can't even sew a button on. I've been known to sort of super glue them on. Mm. I've stapled up hems in my time. It sounds really great. Life skills are always a bonus. It feels like a very old school thing to do, like, you know, like deportment skills and lessons, isn't it, doesn't it, Troy? You and I both did that in Adelaide, how we speak properly, you can tell. But I think, um, uh, I think any school that looks at what's the point of education is doing a really awesome thing. Mm -hmm. and there's one organisation doing something even a step further, which is um, it's called Young People Without Borders, and it's encouraging kids in that year after school to get involved with social causes and stuff. They call it a start year. And it's, it's just amazing the, the breadth, and they're talking about thousands of kids being involved and actually getting involved in social causes rather than just going on schoolies or something. Mm. I think Young People Without Borders, pretty good pretty stuff. I like stuff. that. Trace, welcome. Give us your you. opinion on this. Great to be here. I think it's a tremendous idea, but I think it's an awful shame that these skills aren't being taught by the mother and or the father to the kids at home. My grandmother taught me all this at home. I had to learn how to iron at a this very young it. age. I think that's great. My husband does all the housework, which I love. Other women try to run off with him, but I've timed the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach my seven-year-old son all that stuff. It's amazing the number of seven-year-olds, though, that still eat with their hands and don't eat with their cutlery. So I think it's a shame it's not being 30, taught at 35 home. Thirty-five-year-olds do yeah, it. Yeah, thirty-nine, eighty-nine, still yeah, yeah. does it. All right. Well, that's that was pretty easy. Yeah. Come Come on, boys, get amongst it and just do it. Now, isn't it about time uh, teen boys learnt these skills? What do you think? Go onto our Facebook page, click like, leave us a message, tell us what you think. Are you doing this at home? I'd like to know. Moving on, a disturbing new craze has emerged amongst teenagers. Okay, uh, batten down the hatches. It's called <laughs> the Rainbow Dairy Challenge, and mm. teens scull three litres of milk mixed with food colouring and then film themselves vomiting mm. up the liquid. The challenge is thought to be inspired by a music video and of course the TV show Jackass did it most famously mm. but the teens are seemingly un unaware of the dangers of vomiting. So I'm just going to ask one question, uh, Tracy, uh, <laughs> why? Because they're kids and they do crazy stuff and I must say it is frankly disgusting. But have you seen the other stuff that Jackass crew does? They wear fart helmets, they hammer nails into their nipples. If vomiting up milk is the worst thing that kids do, I don't think that's too I bad. I think I missed those episodes, Tracy. <laughs> I saw them all. <laughs> I, I just heard Tracy say nipples and fart hat, so I'm, I'm happy. For <laughs> I think it's a first at 9.30 in the morning. I welcome on board, I say. Sorry. We, we, but I, I think I read the article and I think it's really, to be honest, an overprotective mum. She sort of... I think she had this, her son come to her and say this thing, I found, I'm, I saw my mate doing this, this thing, and she kind of knocked it back and don't do that. Well, I could imagine the kids sort of going, well, I'm not telling mum any of this stuff anymore. I think it's, it's gross, but I think it's funny. I, and they could be doing worse It is stuff. funny, but it is a problem when you, you, you know, you're getting kids to vomit on cue. You know, that, it's a slippery slope to bulimia and, and issues, isn't okay. it? Okay. Let me try and help explain it. Teen boys are incredibly impulsive, they are risk takers, and they do do very spontaneous things like this. They've also got body images crazy. coming up as well. They yeah. have. I do think there is a risk in encouraging vomiting as entertainment. It's not a great thing to do, and there are health implications if you're making yourself vomit all the time. So it's not ideal. Are we going to be able to eliminate it? Probably not. Boys have been silly for a long time. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Please don't write to us Agreed. on Facebook and tell us what your son's doing with the vomiting. Finally, Show Elizabeth us. Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley style has rubbed off on Shane Warne's 13-year-old daughter, Brooke. They were seen wearing matching Hermes bags, and Liz even tweeted about their shopping day, calling Brooke, which I think is quite kind of sweet, hmm. her future teenage daughter. So she's influenced Shane's style. Are we surprised she's done this? But by the way, I just heard from Paula Joy that this bag, we thought it was $4,000, Upwards of $20,000. Mm. So that's a little different. What do you think about this? I am a stepmother. And I have to say that I have a wonderful close relationship with my 17-year-old stepdaughter, although she doesn't have a mum, so perhaps that's a fairly unique situation. I think it's wonderful that um, Liz is going out of a way to connect with her future you know, stepdaughter and doing things that she obviously enjoys, like shopping. Do they need the $20,000 handbag? Probably not. Did they pay for it? I'm guessing they didn't pay for it either. Well, this is just a starting price, Troy. I mean, wouldn't it be nice if, if when you went out with your, your mum or your stepmom or whatever as a kid, they said, here's a $50,000 handbag? It doesn't happen very often, but I think Certainly I spoke... Certainly not to us, it No, didn't. I don't think ever <laughs> once, mate. But I, I think um, if I speak for all blokes out there and say, a $4,000 handbag? 
Like there's such a thing as that or even a $20,000 one? What are they making this stuff out of? I, I can't believe it. But I do think it's really nice. I do feel a little bit for uh, Simone, though, perhaps mm. at home. Like yeah. just sort of how can we compete and is it a competition? And, and I can see that as a fairly complicated issue. You but know what? It doesn't need to be. I mean, I know that my children have, a, a, my own children have a, a new stepmom as well now. Mm. And she's just lovely. And I want lots of people to love my children and to be part of okay. their world. So I guess we're fortunate that we've created that dynamic with yeah. in our families so that they feel they have lots of adults. It's a very mature way to go about it. And we do birthday parties together yeah. and we, you know, it's great. Tracy, so you're a glamorous not, woman. What do you think about all this? Love is not buying a kid or even loaning a kid a $20,000 yeah. no, handbag. I'm more appalled by this than the vomiting. She should be teaching her <laughs> stepdaughter lessons like, you know, do work for charities, as you mentioned before, not waste all your money on a silly handbag. I don't like it. But it's... I don't think she bought the bag. And I've got to say, a lot of teen girls say to me they love shopping with their mum. Believe it or not, it's not because they want the stuff. It's because they want that quality it's time. Bonding. It is bonding. I'm going shopping with my 13-year-old tonight. We probably won't buy anything. We'll have milkshakes, we'll have coffee, we'll have a giggle, we'll look at things. I think whatever works, you've got to connect with their world. Just stay away from Hermes. And go for the three-litre milkshakes. They're, they're sensational. <laughs> okay. You are Thanks. such a silly boy. Thanks, guys. Well, there you go. She's overhauling the whole Warren family. Now, here's Janie with something for you.